example two is going to be very very interesting let me show you why here we go what can you observe so it appears as if there was a square out of which or from which a right angle triangle has been chipped off and also a quarter circle seems to be chipped off so we here are dealing with three common plane shapes number one being a square okay it's a square first of all from which we are going to chip off a right angle triangle marked as two and a quarter circle marked as three and that is exactly what i've written over here how do you approach such questions so you should uh, treat them individually first of all let's start with a square right so this is very simple um as far as we can see this is 200 this is 200 these are the dimensions which we've been given so half of 200 will be x c or x1 and half of again this 200 will be y1 very simple done i mean area is very simple 200 multiplied by 200 is going to give you the area okay next is right angle triangle here we go now sir we know this uh that the centroid of a right angle triangle is b by 3 h by 3 from the right angle i would love to recall this take a look this is something that we have already discussed and this over here is a right angle triangle so with respect to this corner b by 3 h by 3 area b by 3 h by 3 please there is only one formula that you need to remember for triangles okay for right angle triangle b by 3 h by 3 from right angle remember this done sir now what so right angle triangle where are we here we are so b by 3 sir the base is 150 so 150 by 3 this distance is 150 by 3 150 by 3 is 50 here it is and then so uh, this is h h by 3 that means this distance over here that is just a second b by 3 this is 150 so this is b by 3 150 by 3 that i have written over here and this is h so this is going to be h by 3 that i have written over here again we need the distances x2 and y2 with respect to the y and the x axis so uh, this distance is going to be x2 will be 200 minus 50 okay i hope you got this this is going to be 200 this is 200 minus this 50 will give you this 200 minus 50 similarly this is 200 minus this much that is 50 here yeah, this is 50 by the way so we'll give you y2 so x2 and y2 are known to us what what you need is the area area is half of base 150 into height 150 just do the math very simple next is quarter circle so what about it sir this is g3 by the way g3 okay centroid 3 for quarter circle we know that uh, the centroid is at 4 pi by 3 4 pi by 3 both x and y let me show this here it is xc yc 4 r by 3 pi 4 r by 3 pi done let me go to go back to that slide here it is so this is going to be 4 into r r happens to be 150 4 into 150 by 3 pi again this is also 4 into 150 by 3 pi these two dimensions fortunately have directly arrived with respect to the y axis and with respect to the x axis so this is the x3 this is y3 that is exactly what i've written secondly as far as the area is concerned it is a quarter circle so pi r square by 4 quarter is that is divided by 4 so just do the math so i've got all the values what i need to do is frame a formula the formula will be tweaked a little how because we need to subtract a right angle triangle and a quarter circle marked by 2 and 3 this is what you need to do minus a2x2 minus a3x3 okay we are subtracting these two from the square so modify the formula accordingly plug in the values you have all of these values plug it in this is what you get and that's for yc okay replace all the x by y and this is what you get again as you can see uh, <laughs> i mean x and x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 coincidentally uh, have the same magnitude so it will make no difference you are going to get the same value of yc as 107.28 and that's it so damn simple thank you very much